Okay, uh, on Eagles TV, another chance for us to catch up with a player and you know, get inside their head, find out what makes them tick. On this occasion, we've got Jamie Tab from uh, the um, the wound site. Jamie, yes. welcome to Eagles TV. Thank you for having me. That's okay. Have you seen many episodes so far? No, not really. Wrong answer. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a poor start. Um, so where would you grow up, Jamie? Um, I'm from Adelaide, but when I was about seven, um, mum decided and dad decided to move down to country town, Kilmeans Bay, which is about two, two and a half hours away. Good so fishing down there? Yes, very good. Yes. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> and have you always been a sports billy? You always played sport as a, yes, as a young kid? Yes. Um, did calisthenics, sports aerobics, netball. Basketball was my main sport till right. I was about 15 and then swapped to footy because I saw a pathway up. So, yeah. So when um, when you're playing basketball, were you playing at a reasonable level or not? Uh, state. Start, so yeah. that's a reasonable level? Yeah, yes. Um, and so what sort of triggered you to say, actually, I might dump it all and start playing footy? Um, I just loved the sport. Yeah? Just loved it since, yeah. Just loved being out there with a different group of girls and that had each other's back and, yeah. So, so when you do make that decision to say, well, I'm going to be a footy player, Yeah. how do you then choose a club or choose a... Um, you know, choose a team to start with. Did you come straight to the Eagles or did you um, come by amateurs? Or? No, so I originally was from West Adelaide. Right. So I had the opportunity to come here. So Tess messaged me and said, do you want to just join? Because I'm so moved to zoned to Eagles. Right. But because I'm already from, originally from West Adelaide and the Sandville I did last year with them. So I kind of had to choose and I was like, I might as well grab the opportunity while I was there. And Tess Baxter was coaching, and she coached me last year for state. So I was like, yeah. We've good. heard nothing uh, but good reviews about Tess Baxter. Yes, very good. Yeah, yes. so uh, ticking all the boxes for you. Mm -hmm. Yep, good. well, that's good news. So what's the best thing that you like about it? I think you've already said um, you enjoy the camaraderie and the mm -hmm. girls have got your back sort of thing. Yep. So is it is it just that team environment? Yeah, team environment and just the aggression, because I was too aggr like aggressive on the um, basketball court so I was like I might as well just give it a go yeah. So did you uh, actually ever think you'd be winning a BNF? Had no idea. No? No. <laughs> um, and how, do the, uh, how far into the year did you sort of think I'm going okay here though I'm, I'm having a good year? Um, probably around three or four. Yeah? Yeah so just my uh, <laughs> um, consistency was my key this year so yeah. And so from here on, what, what happens? What's, um, the, what's the next step? Central Allies in one and a half weeks. Right. And then see what happens from there. Uh, we'll just do a quick, uh, before we wrap up, any favourites? A favourite number that you wear? Number nine. Number nine? Yeah. Has that been all the way back through other sports? Uh, yes. Yes? Yeah. Uh, favourite players that you've played either with or you know, that you idolise on the TV? Not really any. No? No. no? And favourite food to finish up? Oh. Shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie? Yeah. And lastly, when do you start thinking about next season? Mm -hmm. um, see, uh, I don't know yet. No? no idea. See, it's my draft year this year, so we'll see what right. happens there. So yes. you've already entered? No, not nominations. I'm not sure what nominations are, but yes. Well, that'll be an exciting time yes, for you. Yes, very exciting. Well, if you do get drafted, remember <laughs> the interview and feel free yes. to, uh, to keep hitting up Eagles <laughs> TV and, uh, and tags in every time you get a kick. Yeah. No worries. Thanks so much for your time, Jane. Thank you for having me.